under the imperators because I cannot understand, fully understand what they are going through. Nagas have undergone this lockdown for more than 25 years to 30 years in the past because of the assertion of the first Prime Minister of India, Mr. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, who said that I will not allow Nagas to be independent even if heaven falls and even if the rivers all over India runs red with blood. And because of that assertion, Naga people were locked down from day one for almost three minutes. This was further reinforced by Prime Minister Morarji Desai, who went to London to tell the Naga people's president and NC president, Mr. Pizzo, that I will exterminate every Naga without any compunction. After that, he came to Kohima and told the delegation of the NSF at the Ras Bhavan. said, again, he said, I will exterminate every Naga without any compulsion. So the situation that the people of Kashmir are going through now is maybe different in that more ancient time. But we can fully understand when we were in that lockdown, the entire Naga villages all over Nagaland was burned down completely. People had to live in the jungles for two to three years. Many of my generations were born in the jungles. People were hunted down like animals. There was no villages. That is the situation. So I fully sympathize and empathize with the people of Kashmir today. As students, I assert that the Nagas do not hate Indians. But we also do not have any reason to be Indians. Our history says so. Our struggle for our identity says so. Our ways of life and situation say so. We admire incredible India and its greatness, but our conscience does not allow us to become what we are not. The unique history of the Naga people was recognized by the government of India after many years of dialogue, which brought about better understanding. From the unique history comes Naga identity. Then, what symbolizes, what represents, and what signifies the Naga identity must be honored and respectfully accepted. More than three years after the signing of the framework agreement on 3rd August 2015 is surely long enough to bring the peace process to its logical conclusion. If the negotiating parties are sincere and serious enough, India, the world's largest democracy, well, do they have to prove to the people, to the Naga people, to the Northeastern people of India and to the world at large that the peace process it has initiated and engaged with the Naga people was genuine and well founded and not just a subtle move to steadily over time impose its greatness over the Naga people with double speak and prevarication. The Naga youth to whom the future belongs अगर आपने अभी तक हमारा चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सब्सक्राइब करें और घंटी का बटन बिल्कुल भी दबाना ना भूलें ताकि सभी लेटेस्ट खबरें पहुंच सकें आप पे सबसे पहले